Hello again, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create your own custom seamless slideshow for Instagram in Adobe Photoshop. You may have seen a lot of photographers share this kind of post where one image will extend across multiple slides on Instagram, such as a wide panoramic landscape shot or perhaps in a more montage collage style like these. I believe there are a few apps that are emerging that do this kind of thing but I much prefer to do it myself to retain full creative control over the layout of the images and to ensure that I'm keeping the quality of the final slides as high as possible. I really enjoy creating these montage style posts so that's what I'm going to show you how to do today. But the same principles can be used for the very simple panoramic style shots as well. So let's jump right in. I'm here at my Mac and the first thing you're going to need to do is open Photoshop. You're going to hit Command N to create a new document. But before we move forward, we need to decide how many slides we want in the post. So in this tutorial, I'm going to do six slides. We're also going to create slides that fit Instagram's 8 by 10 image format. And the pixel ratio for this would be 1080 on the width and 1350 on the height. So if I'm going to make six slides, I'm going to times the width by six. So I'm going to times 1080 pixels by six, which will get me 6480. So with that logic, if you wanted four slides, you'd times the width 1080 by four, and then you just have enough room for four slides, or if you wanted eight or seven times 1080 by eight or seven, you get the idea. So I'm gonna set my width to 6480, my height to 1350, my resolution to 72 pixels per inch, RGB color, eight bit, transparent background, uh, set the color profile to sRGB. This is usually the best color profile that you're going to want to use for when you're uploading to Instagram or any other social media or anything on the web for that matter. And we're also going to set our pixel aspect ratio to square pixels and then hit create. So what you should have here is a nice big long letterbox looking image. So from here I'm going to go to view, new guide layout and then select columns and input the number six for my six columns rows should not be selected and width and gutter and margin all of those boxes should be grayed out we only want six columns hit ok so now you'll have six segments divided by the guide layout now we can start placing our images and start to get creative so i've got my images here it's um, a set of images i shot of a band called pensacola mist they did a show on valentine's day this year um, so i got some pretty cool shots so I've got a mix of vertical and horizontal shots that I'm going to be adding into this layout. So I'm going to add a horizontal shot first. I'll usually like to use this as a base and put images on top of it to really kind of fit that montage style. So I'm going to use this as the first image. All the while checking that there's no gaps so I can't see the background. And I'm going to add another image on top, one that's probably in a contrasting color, center that up. So let's add a few more. And you really can just be as creative as you want with this. There's no rules, you can do what you like pretty much. You can also add effects to each one such as a stroke outline or maybe an outer glow or a shadow or something like that. Drop some more images in. Another horizontal one. So it's starting to take shape a little bit now. And then we've got room for one more image at the end. And I'm gonna extend this all the way out to the edge here. Cool. So if you've gotten to the end and you think, I really wanna add some more slides, I don't wanna just stick with the six, maybe push it up to eight. What you're gonna to wanna to do is head up to image, canvas size, change the drop down menu to pixels, select the width, and using the same logic that I used before, I'm just gonna times the width of the 10 by eight frame, which is 1080 by eight, to give us our new width, which is 8640. You're then gonna to wanna to click this little box down here so that the canvas extends out to the right. If you click the other side, it would extend out to the left, then click OK. And as you can see, it's extended the canvas all the way out here. So I'm gonna to want to have more guides along this side as well. So again, you're gonna to go to view, new guide layout. And since we've got eight columns now, we're just gonna input eight, press okay. And as you can see, we've got eight columns. So you can add up to, I believe 10 columns 
I think Instagram only allows 10 slides on each post. I'm going to add a few more images to these two slides here, maybe a nice big horizontal one to finish it off. Fix those gaps. All right, cool. So that's my layout. I'm pretty happy with how that looks. I'm then going to go and just save this as a TIFF or a PSD. Either format is fine, just as long as you save with your layers. Sliders 1. Save. As I mentioned earlier, these frames are in the 10 by 8 format. So to save each individual one, we're going to create a brand new document. So we go Command N once again. And this time we're going to set the width to 1080 and keep our height at 1350 and all the other settings the same as the other one. Create. Let's get rid of those guides. And this will be the perfect size to export to Instagram. So we're going to head back over to our layout. We're going to flatten the whole image and use the rectangular marquee tool. And we're going to select the first slide and it should just automatically snap to the guide. So select that, Command C to copy. Head over to the new document and Command V to paste. And then save as. You'll also want to number each slide from 1 to 6 or 1 to 8. Slide 1, save as a JPEG, save. And then we're just going to repeat this process for each individual frame. And when we add it into this new document, we just delete the lower layer. And you can see I've actually left a little gap on the end here. I haven't done that on purpose, I've actually just done that by accident. So make sure when you're placing each image on your layout, ensure that there are no gaps like that. Okay, so final one, save this. So once you've got them all saved, that's, that's it done. You can then head into your folder where you've got them saved, send them to your phone, and they're now ready to share onto Instagram. So let's head on and create a new post. Tap the button on the left to expand the images to the 10 by 8 format. Select the first image, which will be down the bottom usually. Select the multiple images mode, and then just click through each individual slide. And then when we tap on our post up here, you'll see that each slide flows together nice and seamlessly. Apart from that white line right at the end there, but just ignore that, that's not supposed to be there, okay? So that's it. That's how you create your own custom seamless slideshow for Instagram in Adobe Photoshop. And like I said, you can be as creative with this as possible. You're not tied down to any kind of particular format if you do it within an app. You can be as free with your layout as you want to if you do it within Photoshop. Anyways, I hope that was helpful to at least one or two people out there. And as always, thanks for watching.